Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome to another MAMG Let's Play. Today we're going to start a game called An Evil Knight. Now, I really know nothing about this game. It just recently got finished, so I wanted to give it a shot. Um, I know it's about two guys being trapped in a forest, but I know nothing else. I don't remember what the pretense was or the setup for it or anything, so I'm completely blind on this playthrough. I don't even know what to expect. It could be ghosts or zombies or monsters. Hello player, here are some short instructions. Use the directional arrows to move around, press enter, perform an action, shift to sprint, except to open the menu. Okay, and beware this evil knight. I will. Now, to the story. Yes, I want to know what the story is about. Night 2 and Daring Forest. This may be one of my worst vacation trips. We were supposed to be already in Pluckley, Isaac's hometown. But we aren't. We're lost. I thought that Isaac knew the way through, but it looks like he was too overconfident. And the best part is, this wicked forest that was going to be our shortcut. We have always been pretty skeptical of legends and twisted stories about places like this, but... This silence. This bad feeling. Something tells me we shouldn't be here. Okay. Interesting. Night has fallen. And hope slowly fades away. It is said that once the light is gone in the screaming forest, evil arises. So we're in the screaming forest then. How could I agree to come to this horrible place? No one forced you, Michael. We both agreed to do this. So, here we are, in the middle of nowhere. I recall listening to someone who knew how to wander through these woods. I'm on it, man. Chill out, let me think. At least you have a tent? <clears throat> Concentrate, Isaac. We'll see. We came from over here, which is south, straight forward for a couple hours. Then we turned east and we reached that lake. Another turn and that huge ditch didn't let us go in. Or go on. North direction. And then... Okay, let's start over. Yeah, we're lost. I'm nervous as hell. I can't even sleep if I wanted to. Okay? At least the fire looks solid. It will resist until the morning. <clears throat> um, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Should I, should I wander away? Better not touch these mushrooms, they might be poisonous. Very true. Uh. Um, what do you want me to do? Okay, what's, what do I have on me? Items, nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. So far, so good. Um. He's starting to really make me mad. Better take a look around. I'm gonna go explore a bit, Isaac. I need to clear my mind. Be right back. Don't go too far, Michael. I know those tales the natives tell aren't real, but I have a strange feeling about this forest. Looks like you're scared, Isaac. I remind you it was your idea to go through these woods. I know, just be careful, man. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna die. We're gonna die a quick, horrible, painful death. If I wonder any further, better take my lamp. It's in the tent. Oh. Well, fine then. Okay, here's the lamp. Got it. So, are we good, or do you need to equip it? Okay, has enough oil to last for the night. Well, that's good. I hope I remember my way back. Who knows what this forest hides? Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. I'm never gonna want to go camping again, am I? Probably not. Alright, so what do you got? We got a dead tree. We got nothing, really. Oh, ho, 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 ho. hi there, friend. I just felt like something was behind me. That gave me goosebumps. Better move on. Yeah, better save, too, because we're, we're going to die. Oh, old abandoned house? Yes, please. This old shack's door is bolted shut. Hi. Hmm? A girl. What's she doing in a place like this? Uh, hello? Hey, you scared me. 
I'm sorry. Well, no problem. You don't see much people around here, so it was surprising. What's your name? I'm Michael. Well, I'm Tanya. Nice to meet you. So... What are you doing here, Tanya? I can pretty much ask the same to you, Michael. My friend Isaac and I got lost in these woods while going to Pluckley. Did you say... Isaac? Yeah, that's his name. What about it? So they have come. Of course. Hey, what are you murmuring? Sorry, Michael. I have to go. Good luck. Hey, wait. What's the matter? If you want to know more, go to the lake. Wait. She went straight in here? Where the hell did she go? Yeah, okay. Go to the lake, she says. I have a feeling bad things are gonna happen. Which way is the lake? That's not good. An old campfire. Also a skeleton. Looks like someone camped here some time ago and didn't survive. There's a rotten piece of paper next to it. There's something written. Looks like a diary note. November 2nd, 1996. There's still no sign of those lost students. But something is lurking in this dark forest. Shadows. I see shadows, but they disappear before I can get a better look at them. I know they're after me. I've evaded them for now. But this lake, I cannot cross it. Evil guards all the paths that lead to the truth. I will rest here in hopes of a chance to make it to sunrise. I see red Al Aldebaran high and mighty reigning in the night sky. It may be the last thing I see. It continues a bit further, but I can't understand the writing. It's a mess. Oh, cool. Lovely. So we got a dude who died, like, right there. And we're gonna go, I guess, closer to the lake? I don't like this at all. What's this say? The sign says, to lake. I can't understand what follows. Looks like an H and something else written in yellow. Hellhole, maybe? Just a shot. Lake H. Oh, no. I see figures walking around. Better be careful. I don't think they're friendly at all. <coughs> no, I don't think so either. Which is why we're gonna save. But, like... Why, why are they here, exactly? I don't know. Okay, we'll go this way. Ooh, a shiny gemstone. Okay. Some kind of yellow crystal floating in the middle of nowhere. Looks like it has a hole, as if something small could fit in. Okay, so not the lamp, of course. But I gotta go back and figure something out. Alright, so I don't know what the range is for these guys. Ooh. Um, I seem to be a little stuck, though. Where are you gonna go? Hmm. I don't know how far they can see. Let me try this. Okay, so as long as I'm not, like, directly in front of them, I seem to be okay. They are super creepy, and I have no idea why they're here. But at least I know that I'll be alright. Okay, go, 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 go. What do you say? The sign says, East and then north, from the lake of Haley, or Haley, lies the path to lost Carcosa. Under the tree of the suicides rests the symbol of truth, the key to H Hades, maybe? Suicide tree sounds lovely. Um, there's nowhere else to go, is there? Well then. East and then north. I can't go anywhere else over here. So I guess I gotta keep going. Um, hmm. These guys are a tiny bit annoying. Just gonna say. <laughs> Alright, don't notice me. I don't... There's no other way to go east. Whew, you guys are creepy. Alright, there's gotta be something else over here. I just, man, there's so many of them. 
It's really hard to get anywhere with this. Oh, there's something over there. I see it. It's like a little heart shape. What are you? It's a piece of paper with something written. I have read I have read his play, and now there's no turning back. I must continue reading it, although it burns my soul to, and even if it crushes all my sanity. Read it indefinitely. There will no longer be anything more crucial or important for what's left of my life other than reading it. Reading it again and again. I am hopelessly cursed until my final hour, in which he will come to end my torment, when he opens his tattered mantle. Then there will only be God to cry to, you, who reads my last rational words. If you happen to find this infectious book, burn it. Burn it while you still have time, while you still have control over your own will. Okay, books are bad, got it. If I come across any book, I will burn it. Don't come down. Okay, good. So, this is the only other way I can go. That looks like a suicide tree to me. If I had to... If I had to take a guess, I would assume that's a suicide tree. Um, are you gonna do anything to me? Tree? This big tree is totally different from the other ones in the forest. Looks like there's something between the branches at the bottom. Got it. Hmm. A symbol. Interesting. Looks powerful. It tingles. You probably want to put it back in the tree then. Strange. I think I've seen this before. Oh! Holy no. Oh my god. I have to get out of here now. Hi there. Hi, friends. Excuse me. I'm so sorry about that. I'm gonna go ahead and save again, because that was bad news all around. Okay, so I got a symbol. Okay. Maybe that'll fit in the uh, hole. Perhaps. Okay, I can go all the way up over here. You can shimmy on over there. You can shimmy down. We can go over. Easy peasy. Alright, can I shove the symbol in here? Boom. Michael puts the symbol in the floating crystal. It's shining. Ooh. Oh. That castle wasn't there before. Definitely was not there before. <laughs> and you guys are still chilling over here, huh? Cool. Glad to see you guys are just walking around. I don't know what their story is. They're just like crazy zombies, I guess. Oh, no, I don't want to, don't want to mingle with you, my friend. Okay, so, so far so good. My friend's probably dead, but other than that, we're doing pretty good. <laughs> uh, I just need these guys to like move at the right timing so I can keep going down. That's the only thing that sucks is like, it's a waiting game. Okay. Let me go ahead and save again because this is probably, again, a bad idea. <laughs> but these games are filled with bad ideas, aren't they? That's what makes them so fun. So great. Hi. What are you doing here, Tanya? Welcome, Michael. You made it. Made what? You found the way, but you still know nothing. It will all be revealed soon, Michael. Little by little, all is going as he planned. The first step has already been taken to achieve the knowledge of truth. Your friend, Isaac, has already been enlightened. Murdered. He's been murdered. The hard way, I assume. <laughs> what are you talking about? What happened to Isaac? He saw truth. But in a different way, you will. You... What's going on here? This forest, there's shadows, monsters, dead people. And then you show up so calm and so cold, as if nothing mattered. I have nothing to fear. I am already enlightened. I told Isaac I was, but he didn't believe me. And his future was already written. Wait, you already knew Isaac? What? He saw it. Saw what? And you saw it too, Michael. 
The sign. Did it open up your eyes? Whoa. Now come, Michael. Your trial continues. <laughs> that was a, a Ace of Base reference, I think. Not not the trial part, but the I saw the sign. Okay. Where the hell is Michael? What's gonna happen to you? Hmm. I wonder if he's okay. Well, you're not. Oh no, the fire. What is that? Who's there? Michael? Oh no, buddy. You're dead. It is time, Isaac. You have seen it. Therefore, the painful truth you will witness. Prepare. He got whisked away. That's pretty cool. So what is that symbol? Have you seen the yellow sign? I mean, I do right now. Have you seen it? I don't, I don't know. Last week I had a nightmare. It was already nightfall and I had just left Michael's house after spending some time chatting with him. As I walked the dark path home, I heard the sound of a carriage with two horses approaching me. The carriage was getting closer and I started to get an intense feeling of dread. That is a cool picture. I saw it pass by in fear. The figure that was driving looked inhuman, and so did the black horses that pulled the carriage. Their eyes were red and evil, but there was another thing that really made me tremble as it moved on. There was a coffin in the carriage. And I knew Michael was in it. Okay. How, how'd you know he was in it? Ooh, that's a, that's a messed up dream. Ouch. My head hurts. What happened? Tanya? She... What did she... It's very dark. My lamp. Here. Oh. What the? What's all this blood? I'm back at camp. Isaac? What did you do, Tanya? Oh my god. Isaac? Shiny. There's something here. A key. A key for what? Key items. Wood key. Oh, okay. So I know what that does. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Can I go in the tent? Can I just sleep it off? Probably not. <laughs> that would be great if you could just be like, Hey, you know what? I'm gonna call it a night. So we got the blood. Good God, what did you do to him? Okay. Okay. Over here. Yeah. I figured it was gonna lead here. Had a hunch. This old shack's door is bolted shut. I unlocked it with the wood key. Hey, buddy. Y you doing okay? Probably not. Some old books. The titles are somewhat disturbing. Colt de Ghouls de Vermis Mestirs. The Book of Abon. The Necromanon Darkest Dreams. Only reading these words make me feel sick. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I butchered all that, too. Okay, a barrel full of filthy water. There's something in the drawer. It's a key it may come in handy. Okay? More blood here, but no sign of Isaac. Hmm, looks like some diary. It's written in a language I don't understand. Wait, there's a fragment I can read. I cannot forget Carcosa, where black stars hang in the heavens. Where the shadows of men's thoughts lengthen in the afternoon, and where the twin suns sink into the lake of Haley. And my mind will bear forever the memory of the pallid mask. Weird. Yeah, pretty much. 
I guess we need to go up this ladder, huh? Hey there, somebody followed me up. It's okay, I don't need any help getting up here. I appreciate it though. There's something between the roof tiles. What's a newspaper doing here? 20 bodies found dead in the woods. I can't read anything else though. There's something between the roof tiles. A newspaper. Four students missing. They're last seen walking near Pluckley and Daring Wood Area Police Searching Woods. Okay. Music is a tad bit creepy, but I'm guessing that is the, the truth, maybe? That they wanted us to see? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see myself out now. Okay, so let's go over here. Oh, this is a little different too. Hello! Were these statues here before? <laughs> no, this statue was not here before. Yep, that's right! There was a camp of the skeleton here before. I remember perfectly. Now there's this wall. It has an inscription. Deep within Las Carcosa lie the gates of my realm, and they shall open once the bronze key is found. Uh, bronze key? Michael and Sir Sobronsky. Cool. We, we did it. I don't think we should have done it. I think it's a bad idea. Now you have it. H have what? I'm coming. Please don't. Just please don't. I'm okay. I'm good. W where? Where am I? I'm in bed. No. This... This... This isn't the bed. I can barely move. Am I? He's in the coffin, isn't he? Oh my god. Trapped? What the hell? It's like some kind of box. No. This isn't a box. It's a coffin. I'm moving. I hear horses? Let me out, please. Somebody. I can't breathe. Let me out. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Where am I? Everything is black. What's happening? Is this another trial? For what? Move on, Michael. I will show you what you want to see. But you must survive more impediments. Truth requires it. You... Whatever you are, and Tanya keep telling me about this truth, but what are you talking about? What truth? You will know at the right time. First, survive. And entertain me more. <laughs> okay. Not sure if I'm really feeling the entertainment vibe. What is all this? Maybe I should save. Um, oh, well, good thing I saved because I just got squished. Hmm, okay, so avoid the jaws of death, which they're there. <laughs> um, okay, so which way can I go? Okay, so it looks like they only close. Oh, there's a girl up there. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, I can pass by underneath. Hi there, little friend. H hello What's wrong with the- <laughs> Well then. Apparently I'm not supposed to talk to little girls with red glowing eyes. How was I supposed to know that? Pfft. Jeez. Expect me to know everything. First time around. 
All right, so maybe that's what it means by entertain him. Uh, so we need to go over here and don't talk to the girl. I'm not gonna talk to the boy either. We'll go ahead and go down the ladder. So what's out here? Oh, okay. I think this is good. I think this is progress. Uh, oh, oh no, 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 please, no, no, no. Oh, I don't like you. Oh, I don't know what you are, but I don't like you. Like a big old gorilla. More? Yep. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Fingers of steel or something over here. Alrighty. Ah, uh, no more, please. Jesus. I think I lost that thing that, uh, I think that thing isn't chasing me anymore. I wonder. Did he lo really lure me here? Probably. Hi, Tanya. Michael, you must go down this fine. Why should I trust you? You're the one who put me through all this. And you're surely responsible for whatever happened to Isaac. What happened to Isaac? He deserved it entirely. But why? What did he do? Oh, you'll know for sure. You too are responsible. You're both ignorant and did not respect what I showed you. You are filth and you must cleanse yourself, for you have been marked. You're crazy to the bone. <laughs> That's why Isaac suffered the quick judgment of his sins, because he did not listen. I tried to warn him, but his destiny was already decided. Now go, it is almost time. I won't say it again. If you refuse, then you will know in your own flesh what Isaac went through. Okay, well, I was gonna go ahead and not do that, but, uh, she had a very convincing argument with all the shadow demon people. Something's written on the plaque, but I'm only able to read it partially. Glory to Ur. We end prayers to thee. Answer, oh, prayer. <laughs> okay, got it. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode right here. I have a feeling this is gonna be a short game. We'll probably be able to finish it in the next episode, but I don't know how long it is. Um... Pretty interesting though. Um, not exactly what I thought it was gonna be, but very fun, very creepy. Got the atmosphere down pat. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you did enjoy. I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's go. Open the door. I don't know who you are, but I know you're in there. How? Why is a player here? This is. I'm sorry, what? What is going on? I don't even know. Give me back my Amelia. <laughs> what happened? Sorry, but you're in the wrong area. Staff only. Who cares? Listen, Amelia has no sense of direction, and these puzzles are too dangerous for her. She can't stand it.